To be ignorant of the lives of the most celebrated men of antiquity is to continue in a state of childhood all our days. Do not speak of your happiness to one less fortunate than yourself. Philosophy is an act of living. It is indeed a desirable thing to be well descended, but the glory belongs to our ancestors. It is part of a good man to do great and noble deeds, though he risk everything. In words are seen the state of mind and character and disposition of the speaker. To find fault is easy, to do better may be difficult. The wildest colts make the best horses. The whole life is but a point of time, let us enjoy it, therefore, while it lasts, and not spend it to no purpose. The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be kindled. What we achieve inwardly, will change out a reality. All men whilst they are awake are in one common world, but each of them, when he is asleep, is in a world of his own. Fate leads him who follows it, and drags him who resist. The real destroyer of the liberties of the people is he, who spreads among them bounties, donations and benefits. For the wise man, every day is a festival. An imbalance between rich and poor is the oldest and most fatal ailment of all republics. For the mind does not require filling like a bottle, but rather, like wood, it only requires kindling to create in it an impulse to think independently, and an ardent desire for the truth. The whole of life is but a moment of time, it is our duty, therefore to use it, not to misuse it. Come back with your shield, or on it. Foreign lady once remarked to the wife of a Spartan commander, that the women of Sparta were the only women in the world, who could rule men. Another Spartan, when he saw men sitting on stools in a lavatory, declared, May I never sit where it is impossible for me to get up and offer my seat to an older man. There is a story recorded about Gerardus, a spartiate of really ancient times, who when asked by a foreigner what their punishment for adulterers was, said, There is no adulterer among us, stranger. The whole life of man is but a point of time, let us enjoy it, therefore, while it lasts, and not spend it to no purpose. Courage and wisdom are, indeed, rarities amongst men, but of all that is good, a just man it would seem is the most scarce. It is a thing of no great difficulty to raise objections against another man's oration. It is a very easy matter 
but to produce a better in its place is a work extremely troublesome. It does not follow that because a particular work of art succeeds in charming us, its creator also deserves our admiration. Courage stands halfway between cowardice and rashness, one of which is a lack, the other an excess of courage. I don't need a friend who changes when I change and who nods when I nod, my shadow does that much better. Many things which cannot be overcome, when they are together yield themselves up, when taken little by a little. Let us carefully observe those good qualities, wherein our enemies excel us, and endeavor to excel them, by avoiding what is faulty, and imitating what is excellent in them. Character is simply habit along continued. Books delight to the very marrow of one's bones. They speak to us, consult with us, and join with us in a living and intense intimacy. Choose what is best, and habit will make it pleasant and easy. He is a fool who lets slip a bird in the hand, for a bird in the bush. The poor go to war, to fight and die for the delights, riches, and superfluities of others. Prosperity is no just scale, adversity is the only balance to weigh friends. No man ever wetted clay, and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Painting is silent poetry. The very spring and root of honesty and virtue lie in good education. Evidence of trust begets trust, and love is reciprocated by love. The omission of good is no less reprehensible than the commission of evil. Courage consists not in hazarding without fear, but being resolutely minded in a just cause. Medicine to produce health, must examine disease, and music to create harmony must investigate discord. A few vices are sufficient to darken many virtues. When the strong box contains no more both friends and flatterers shun the door, Moral habits, induced by public practices, are far quicker in making their way into men's private lives, than the failings and faults of individuals are in infecting the city at large. The measure of a man is the way he bears up under misfortune. Know how to listen, and you will profit even from those who talk badly. Silence at the proper season is wisdom, and better than any speech. Those are greedy of praise prove that they are poor in merit.
The richest soil, if uncultivated, produces the rankest weeds.